Hey, hello and welcome to this live. I have been trying to find somewhere where I can do this that is not too noisy, that has good Wi-Fi, that is warm and I've ended up finding this lovely place I really like. Um, I really love coming here but they've got a lovely outside bit with heaters so it feels a bit weird to be sitting outside in January but I'm, I'm loving it. There is a, so a nice warm glow emitting from the, uh, the overhead heaters here. So it's lovely. So a little bit later than planned, but this is your successfully su successfully sensitive 2018. So I am really delighted to be bringing you this session. It's a two-parter. I did the first part last week, which was all about reviewing your year that's gone. Don't worry, you can still do this part without having done the review, though you are so welcome and I would encourage you to do that review because when we review and we really take stock of our year that's been and what's happened and our achievements, it really creates so much momentum to carry us into the new year. And I was talking about it with some of my sisterhood members last night and we'd set the challenge to do 101 achievements and uh, so to do your 101 achievements from from the year and um, and one of my sisterhood members was saying that she's done it up to 70 and she's so proud of herself because she didn't even think that she could get to 20 and it just goes to show that when you start to really look at yourself and what you've achieved and what you've experienced and what you've accomplished there is so much traction and that momentum like I'm saying can really take you in to the new year in such a deep state of appreciation for who you are and as a sense of women this is so so important because when you deeply appreciate yourself you really can access those levels of compassion and empathy and love for yourself and therefore you then have an abundance to bring out into the world into your relationships with your people into your work so it's really about how you how you bring that in for yourself like how you bring that into, into your being so that it is absolutely part of who you are that deep rooted appreciation so today I'm going to be sharing the 2018, my life as a 2018 superstar document and um, very appropriately a uh, very big gust of wind has, uh, has just, just like kind of rattled my papers around. So anyway, um, I will be sharing this document with you so I'll pop the link below so that you can get your hands on this document and I really just want to hold the space to give you a really simple practice that you can use to set yourself up for the year. And before we get into that, what I was saying, what I always share with um, with my members and my clients is that you have the ability at any point of the year to set yourself soul goals. There are three main areas that I work with clients on with their soul goals um, and that is setting soul goals for the for the year like that's at the start of a new year the start of a new project the start of something that feels like it's got that new beginning energy to it setting soul goals with the moon and this is really important as a sense of women because you're deeply aligned and connected with the moon and, it, and you really can bring in so much incredible um, experiences and you can really take you can really take massive steps when you connect with the moon so that's the second area and the third area is weekly soul goals and from that place of looking at your week ahead you can then set yourself you know your intentions for the day and uh, for each day you know uh, connecting with what is important with you for your well-being um, and really working on those little stories that the inner fear freaks throw up so today we're looking at really how we write those, create those, craft those overriding soul goals for the year ahead and how we step into that with a real expansive mindset and of course having done the review is a really great way to get into that expansive space. What I would say is, I always say this before setting any soul goals, one understand what a soul goal is for you, it is a soul desire, it is something that you want to bring into your reality right now because it's part of what your soul um, is looking for. So this is a way from the inner fear freaks, this is a way from any ego mind chatter, it's a way from any restrictions and any sense that you have to play it small, it is completely about who you are and who you want to be to bring this into into existence 
so I would also say right now it does not matter when you do this because yes we're talking about it being a new year and we're talking about riding this new energy but it's you've got the ability to do this at any point that's what I'm saying you've got the ability within you to always in every moment choose differently and to choose something that that will allow you to feel how you want to feel when it comes to doing this I would really recommend that you've done something that connects you before you start so you know some meditation you know walking around in nature taking some deep breaths running dancing whatever it is that makes you feel really really good don't sit down to do this feeling like in a, a like a kind of constricted space because then it just becomes a real head exercise and what you what you really want is for it to be a holistic full-on experience for like all of you so at any point when you're doing this if you feel like oh my god I'm really just like overthinking this or it just feels really kind of like kind of like dull and a bit like forced then just take a break and come back to it do go and do something that is genuinely genuinely gonna bring you some joy and then come because this is a this is coming from a place of joy if you think that you're setting yourself intentions you're asking uh, you know the universe or whoever you call on for support to, to give you know to help you with this to help you create this then you want to be coming at it from a real joyful place so by 2018 as a sense of superstar I'm going to pop the link later on for you so you can get your hands on this but there's just some really simple questions that I ask you to think about um, and the first one is if I could achieve this in 2018 I would be so proud so this is really about you know when you get to the end of your year if you look back and you go yes I did it you know I experienced this I brought this in what would that be like what what is the most important thing for you there and this is all about what's important to you it's not about what anybody else would want from you or what you think you should do for for anybody else or what you think you should be doing it's about what you really want in 2018 the second part in 2018 I'm letting go of this boom it's gone what are you letting go of this year my word or words of the year are don't overthink this one at all it's just like right this is what this year stands for for me this is what this is what this year is all about for me write them down and then my six the six desired feelings I want to experience every day are and pop these down so these are your overriding desired feelings for the year and the next part is really important for this to connect with these feelings every day I need to do this so this is about right what do I need to do in order to be with these desired feelings like what do I need to do so it's not just I have a list of desired feelings but they're, they're, you know that's all it is you have to find the ways that are going to be really easy for you to connect with those desired feelings maybe through your practice through your self-care through affirmations through having the desired feelings written somewhere make sure that it's very much about you connecting with those and then you have space to write down your soul goals now I am not going to tell you because it's not my place to and I have no idea what your soul desires and um, if I talk to you I probably could help you with coming you know coming closer to that or I certainly could support you with bringing those out into um, into the you know into the here and now but you know you look look within and ask yourself you know what is really important for me this year what is really important um, in all the different areas and I will tell you that you know the areas that I work my soul goals in just doing a little hair a little hair check there um, and that is, I do mine around my personal relationship. I do it, around, and actually, I class it as, as love, as love. Um, and I do it around uh, home life. I do it around money. I do it around using my voice. Um, I do it around health. I do it around my spiritual growth, my business, and um, let's just check my creativity. Okay. So those are the ones of course it's totally up to you what are the ones that are really important to you what what you know you know what are the areas of your life that you you want to be looking at and what i would say is um don't overwhelm yourself with this i go for one two or three soul goals in each of those areas and um, keep it clear 
keep it positive um, and really connect these with your desired feelings so understand that this is a way to to connect with your desired feelings you're setting, your the soul goals you're setting what you want to create what you want to make manifest what you want to achieve how you want to be in all areas of your life take some time to go through that that does really merit uh, you know doing it you can come back to it you write them out have a think about them let like marinate in them but again don't overthink it you know you can of course at any point in the year come back to these change them everything will change of course through the year um, and then there is a, st a statement section for you some journal prompts my intentions for 2018 these are suggestion statements these will be help these will be really helpful for you if you want prompts and um, write them in your own words and make them resonate with you so you know there's there's a whole selection there from things like um, in 2018 I was my well-being warrior every day and do 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 space for you to to write that write what that is for you my boundaries are so clear da, 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 da. my imperfect practice this year created in 2018 I received and what you want to receive and um, I be and this is really important this statement piece of like who it is you really want to be and uh, again really connecting this with your desired feelings so that is the whistle stop tour through uh, through the 2018 sensitive being successfully sensitive and you know success is completely individual so your version of success is very different to mine it's very different to to anybody else's but it is very much about how you want to feel and who you want to be um, and stepping into the wholeness of that and coming at it from a place really of joy like really appreciating that, that you have this within you to, to, to create what you want and, and to really bring it into into existence and yes yeah, so I really would love to know how you get on with this do share like find me on uh, here on this on this page let me know like how you find it obviously if you want to go deeper with this I have um, available discovery calls where we can where we can really go deep on it with you and um, you can find that link I'll pop it below um, and just before I go I want you to hold your diary because like 50 the 15th of January Monday the 15th of January I am so excited um, I'm gonna be sharing more about this later on today and throughout the week but last year one of the highlights for me with with my work was yes really discovering my message and embodying it and sharing it and, and running the the sense of sisterhood festival and this was the first ever online festival specifically for sensitive women who want to come together in community um, and really immerse themselves in being their well-being warrior and understanding their inner fear freaks. I learned so much from doing this. It was a total joy doing it and I'm so excited because there's been so many, um, so much great feedback from it, so many requests about doing it again. So I'm going to be doing it again starting on the 15th of January, pop-up online festival completely free. Um, we're going to have yoga sessions, there will be online classes there'll be meditations and um, it'll be running throughout the whole of that week so I will be inviting anybody who is interested in any sense of women who really really resonate with with the message of of being uh, you know being sensitive and, and wanting to really bring all of their heart into into their world and into their work and into the, the people that, that matter to them really looking after um, yourself and understanding how important being your well-being warrior is so I will be putting details of that and how to join very soon so any questions about that let me know and I cannot wait to hear how you're getting on so loads of love bye